Alrighty, Hosses, welcome back. And in this video, I am going to be teaching you guys about React components. Now, a component is one of the core building blocks of React. Basically, every application you make using React is going to be made up of these things called components. Now, components are actually incredibly simple to understand. Components are just part of your website. That's it. That's all they are. So let me go ahead and show you guys any website. So if this was made using React, this video player, it would be a component. This progress bar, it would be a component. This button would be a component. Now even complex things like this little text editor area at the bottom, this entire thing may be a component. Now that brings me to another point and that's you can actually put components together to make a bigger component. So say that all of these buttons were individual components well, once we put them in this little area on top and added a form below, it would make up a bigger component. So just like you can put a bunch of parts of a car together to make an entire car, that's basically what a component is part of your website. So that's why I say in React, your entire application is going to be made up of these components, just different parts of your web page. So sounds pretty cool. How do we make a simple component? Well, the first thing you do is go ahead and make a variable. Now, just to show you guys that you can actually name these components anything you want, I'm just going to go ahead and name mine bacon. Now, set this equal to react create class. So, this is the method that you use to actually create a component. So, a component is essentially just the react class. Now, since this is going to return an object, go ahead and throw curly braces in there. And inside this is where we actually make our component. Now, as you guys already guessed, since a component is just essentially part of your website, all it is is pretty much HTML. So we can just have a component that's just a heading. We can have a component that's an entire buddy list. But for right now, essentially what your component needs to do is it needs to return some HTML. So how do we do this? We do this with a function called render. So render is a function. And all this is going to do is it's going to return some HTML. Now, whatever HTML you return, that's essentially what this component is. So let me go ahead and return something really simple. And I'll just return another, uh, let me return like a heading three. It always auto completes at the wrong time. And I'll say, uh, this is a simple, and I can never spell component, C-O-M-P-O-N-E-N-T. I always spell component or something. All right, so this component is complete. All this is, is essentially just a heading three. Now again, eventually we can actually add uh, attributes to it or properties and states and have some more functions in here. But for right now, whenever we use the component bacon, it essentially just displays a heading three. So then once we have our component made, let me tighten this up a bit so it's a little bit easier to see. We actually have to say, instead of this, which was the HTML we displayed before, we actually want to display our component. Now, remember I said that render basically takes a bit of HTML and displays it in your target. But what is the HTML for this component right here? Well, the HTML tag that you use is actually just the variable name. So if you go bacon, that's all you write. So whenever you see this tag bacon is basically allowing you to create custom HTML tags. So we're going to throw bacon right here, which is this component. And we're going to display it in this target right here, which was basically our only div on the website. So there you go. And actually, let me bump this up so you guys can see. For some reason, I need to refresh this twice. All right, so again, that's the basics of components. Basically, your entire application is going to be made up of these individual parts called components. Now, at the heart of a component, it essentially just returns a chunk of HTML. So in this example, we just made a component that was composed of, I don't want to say composed, made of a heading two tag. And then whenever we use that component, it was essentially just equal to this. So we display bacon in this target boom, roasted, there you go. 